Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. One of our favorite segments and yours too, MTTT, say what? That's right, Master Technician Tech Tip. And this one's all about coolants, man. There are so many different types of coolants on a car. We need to understand everything about them. And let's start with our cool engine demo and look at actually coolant and how it works. What is a coolant system? Well, it starts here at the radiator and it goes through the engine. It's all about that thermodynamics. We're taking the heat out of the engine, Boom, and throwing it to the outside air. And here's a couple of tech tips for you. The first thing you can do if your engine's nice and cool, make sure it's not hot, but you can go down here and you can feel the front of your radiator. You know, you wanna feel for any ice cold spots, perhaps it's warm, 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 and now I'm coming over here and I got a cold spot, well, that could be an actual spot where the coolant's not running through it because the coolant goes through it and it dissipates the heat. The whole radiator should be uniformly warm all the way down it. Now, a couple other things. This is pretty cool. At rockauto.com, we got this pressure tester right here. Now, professional shops do this, but you can do it right out in the driveway. I'm gonna come over and run a pressure test on this system. Well, what's a pressure test? Just like it says, we're putting pressure in the system. So once your engine's cold, do not take the radiator cap off when it's hot, not a good idea. Make sure it's cold. I got the radiator cap off. I'm simply just gonna take a pressure tester. That's exactly what this is. Put it down on here on the system. I'm gonna secure the cap. And then what we're gonna do is just like your system would, add pressure to the system. So if I come over here and I start pumping this up, I'm actually adding pressure to the system. All the coolant hoses are swollen up. I don't wanna add any more than what the cap specifies, but I put the pressure in there. And now what do we do? Well, we just sit and wait. And when I'm waiting, I'm actually looking for it. If it's holding steady, maybe five or 10 minutes, you're in good shape. But if it starts to drop slowly, that coolant's going somewhere, the pressure. You could have one or two leaks. You can have an external leak, which simply just go around and look around the engine and see if it's dripping, find out where it's dripping from. That's not a problem. But you also could have an internal leak. Maybe the head gasket's blown going into the cylinders. You may have to run some deeper tests to find out about that or look for some steam coming out of the exhaust. A blown head gasket's a good indication of that as it starts to drop down. Now another one you can do is you can test the cap. The cap is an important part of the system. I'll take this off of this one here and we'll bring it over and we'll go ahead and test a cap. So let me get this off of here. Now the cap holds pressure. So when it holds pressure, it actually raises the boiling point. That's important because water boils at 212 degrees and we don't want it to boil any lower than that. We actually want to raise it up. So I got this here, I'm gonna put it on the cap. Now when I put it on the cap, I'm just gonna let the cap dangle here so you can see the gauge. And I'm gonna put the gauge. So it's a sealed system right now. So what's gonna happen is I start to pump up the cap. When I pump up the cap, you're gonna see the pressure rise. So the pressure starts to rise and then I keep pressing and I can't get any more, it stops. What's happening? The cap's blowing off at a specific pressure. What's that pressure? Look on your cap, look in your service manual. Make sure it holds pressure and then it blows off at excessive pressure. Those are two great tech tips that'll help keep your coolant system in tip top shape. Now also with coolant, man, there's so many different types of coolant and there's gauges too to look at some of the stuff. I got this at rockauto.com as well. So right here I have an actual hydrometer that's gonna go ahead and take some of the coolant up and we're gonna look at the freezing point in the coolant. So I can come right to the coolant once again. Be safe, make sure everything's in good shape. Make sure you're not gonna get too hot. And you see the ne little needle floating right there? Now the little needle's telling us the protection of it. So that's a real simple thing you can do right out in the driveway. Check your coolant and the level. It's actually checking the specific gravity and the weight of the coolant. Or you can get some test strips. You can dip them in there and then compare it to the container. Once you dip it in there and compare it to the container, well, it's simply just look at it and see if you need some new coolant. Now, another cool tool I have is a refractometer. Got this at rockauto.com too, right here. This is neat because it's high tech, but you know what? It's not even expensive. You can come over here, get your little dab of coolant, put it on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the lid. Once I close the lid, I'm gonna look through it into the light. Now you can see it just exactly what I'm looking at. You can see the graphic right there and you're looking at the protection level of the coolant. It does battery fluid, it does coolant, it does ethylene glycol. So that's a refractometer, that's incredible. Now, here's the coolant. I love my coolant collage. We're gonna talk about Asian coolants, we're gonna talk about regular coolants, domestic coolants, but man, there's just so many flavors, so many shapes, so many sizes of coolant. You have to use the right one. So what are we gonna do? Well, you know, 
I'm going to go ahead. Our co-host is over there, Dave, and he's got a son named Lincoln that would love to come over here and dunk some eggs in this coolant. So I'm going to get rid of this to keep him safe, but we're going to check in with Dave and Tom. They're going to tell us all we need to know about coolants.